What is up guys, Coop here, and today we're going to be talking about Teon. Specifically, this is going to be a shorter episode. Uh, I'm basically, I'm still grinding my way up to level 40 on my two characters. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about alignment, and I'm going to be showing you guys a different alternative ways of getting sort of enchanting for your gear. So, first things first, let us talk about enchanting. So, basically there is a enchanting NPC over here. Uh, he's kind of right next to sort of the warehouse and when you die you kind of spawn right right over here so when enchanting gear it's very important that you sort of understand a few things there's multiple different ways of enchanting your gear one is you can talk to him and by using gold uh, do it which is a huge number and is typically used for more of like your higher level characters however um, there is an alternative way of doing it which is through coins so these platinum coins that you earn basically from killing creatures and stuff and is the alternative way of currency uh, that you can get throughout the game. So basically, what I ended up doing was I killed a bunch of creatures and now I have a crap ton of coins. And I also bought three of these magical appliances. The reason that you do that is a it is a alternative way of actually upgrading your gear. So. As you can see here, you can buy about three of them for roughly, roughly around, I think it was about 5,000, like 300 or something like that. So I bought a bunch of them and now I'm ready to go with my enchant. So what we're going to do here is we go to purchase of coins. We're going to do that for my weapon. So it requires three appliances of that, which I bought and then 4,000 or actually, sorry, 45,000 coins. So. Let's go ahead and make that item boom now we have a nice good old enchant for our weapon so I'm going to click that and I'm going to find my weapon here which is right there boom now it has become a plus one sword meaning it has a plus one enchant on it so makes it a little bit more powerful and nice for us so that's gonna be one sexy weapon once I start upgrading it a little bit more so we've now officially upgraded our weapon and now it will do more damage and more be a lot more helpful for us in the long run but now let's actually talk about alignment because that's the main thing I wanted to talk about with this episode so you'll see all these people running around with like slightly red uh, nameplates white blue darker blue uh, or darker red so what exactly is alignment well the easiest way to look at it is looking at it with this which if I go here do 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 so lawful basically shows if a character is good or evil basically if they if it's red it usually means that they typically kill players or different um sort of NPCs and stuff so that typically means that they are the evil or alignment now if you hunt down creatures and you play the game basically how it's meant to be played you'll get a lawful alignment meaning you are a good base character and new players are typically neutral or maybe they've killed a player and got themselves up to neutral again or they uh, started there's different ways of kind of bouncing back and forth uh, to get yourself back up to neutral but most uh, the time when you see a neutral alignment it's that they're typically a newer player so what it, what are the benefits why why does this matter why does it matter if you're good or evil is it just a you know flavor thing well in part it is but there is specific reasons why a good alignment and evil alignment are good in their own ways. So for good alignment, you basically have a lower chance of dropping items on death, which may not happen much to a lot of people, but as time goes on, it does eventually happen. I had a um, helmet that actually dropped and disappeared because I died. So that does actually happen. They also receive higher healing. When, it, when using healing magic. So for example, my lesser heal actually heals more because I have a lawful alignment. So that's very helpful for us. Now, of course, uh, there is a few other different things that can happen with a lawful stuff. So basically it just shows that I am really good at killing, you know, different monsters and everything. I've been killing monsters the entire time and it shows where my kind of alignment is. Now evil alignment is basically what happens when you kill a player. Now, what sucks about them when they are red is certain NPCs don't want to talk to them, uh, they have an increased drop rate on death, and they have lesser healing effect from healing magics. Now, why would that be a good thing? Why on earth would you do an evil alignment? Well, if you come over here to this wonderful NPC, which is... If I just kind of trail off over here a little bit more, we can actually figure out why 
chaotic alignment happens basically to make their spells more powerful so as you can see here it makes my spells more powerful so their actual spell base abilities are more powerful when that happens now real quick let me show you what happens when you are a chaotic based character so this is Kaseel she's only slightly uh, a bad character but if I trail off a little bit and I actually show you what happens when you are a evil alignment character so typically monsters are kind of chill they you know you can kind of attack them and then they'll attack you uh, if you attack them and also if you attack the same class of monster so if you attack a dwarf a bunch of dwarves will attack you if they're nearby however if I actually show you here real quick let me just kind of trail off into an area to show you something that's different and unique about sort of evil based characters so as you can see here I have not attacked this hobgoblin whatsoever yet he is chasing after me which is very interesting so basically when you are an evil based character monsters will actually go out of their way to attack you on the spot and on top of it certain players can kill you uh, just because you are a chaotic alignment now as you can see here I'm running off and I have a bunch of things attacking me and I mind you I did not attack a single creature so this makes it harder when leveling. However, my spells do significantly more damage. Like, way more damage. So that's something to keep in mind there. So it's important though when you do do player killing and things that you take into account what the differences are in sort of your lawful characters and chaotic. Lawful may seem like it's a really, uh, like sort of the go-to one to do however chaotic does have its own benefits with you being able to do a lot more damage with your spells so a mage based character or certain characters like my elf have way more benefits from it than the other one but you do have that giant risk it's a high risk high reward for chaotic and lawful is sort of this neutral good but it has its own different things as well but I, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that a little bit more and to show you guys what true alignment is and because when I was a newer player I was very confused I was like why why are some people red why are some people blue and I was like well what what's the point of being red like there's like it seems like it would just be a bad situation in general but then I saw how powerful the spells are compared to uh, when they are not chaotic and there's a huge difference so Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy. Be sure to smash that like button. Uh, hopefully, I will be level 40 within the next day or two. And then once I'm level 40, I'm going to be trying to finish up a dungeon run. And then actually show you guys what happens when you sub to the game and get all the membership bonuses. And then we can look at different member areas. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.